Hello everyone and welcome to episode 26 of Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-earth Evil Campaign, Millionly. Today we are going to continue the conquest of Middle-earth and uh, we are going to attack the Horde of Isen. Anyhow, while the army gets there, um, I want to thank you guys for all the, for the amazing support that you have shown this series so far. I thank every one of you for every like, comment and subscribe that you gave this channel because it really helps the channel grow and yeah, I'm very very grateful for that. Anyway, without yeah, further ado, hopefully my armies will be here soon and I will start cleaning up this part of the map in preparation for the assault on Minas Tirith. Let's start with Fort of Eisen. The fords of Eisen are the only means of crossing this great river, a strategic territory for any who can claim it. Yep, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Shadow falls across Rohan. Man shall see no dawn. Yay, they shall see no dawn. If I'm not mistaken, basically, um, put you in melee. Um, this is where the King Theoden's son died. In the force of Eisen, and uh, King, uh, let's say, line was broken be with his death, because yeah, he he was tasked at defending the force of Eisen, and the orcs attacked, and yeah, uh, King's son, Theo uh, King Theoden's son, I think it was Theodore or something like that, um, or yeah, I I don't remember exactly. Uh, what his name was, he basically died in the assault. So with these guys, I will go here because here and here there are some outposts and here is the castle. So I will make them come here. They will go into my uh, guys and they will start attacking. Um, so yeah, they it seems that they have multiple cavalry charges and uh, yeah, we, we are just going to uh, let them die to my guys because yeah, my guys are so high level that they, they basically will die before being able to do a lot of, uh, a lot of da damage to me so yeah, I did lose some guys but uh, nothing concerning i should be back to 414 no time and yeah here is the protectors of forts of Eisen. it's another host of uh, rohirrim they will just stay and guard it so i will let my troops uh, just uh, um yeah i will let my troops um just um, how can i say um uh, to have a break and regenerate and then I will start attacking so yeah th this is another group that tried to attack me but yeah as you can see the power of level 10 units is the fact that they are very powerful and uh, when I say very powerful I'm not kidding they 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 can take uh, that uh, cavalry charge is like there is nothing so yeah I guess there will be Rohan forces guarding on uh, every part of the river, every crossing of the river, and here in the middle it uh, is the enemy territory. And yeah, here I will just make a camp with, uh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, they they are a bit in a pickle, so. Uh, let's let's go back Because uh, yeah, you are not prepared to deal with them. Uh, I, I didn't know that they had to basically cross the river but uh, now I can Yeah, I can do that and they will just die and I will let them uh, Wait go back a bit and They they will come and move forward and they will also come and move forward 
And yeah, they, they attack me with peasants because this is all they can do. Uh, so yeah. So I will uh, actually make this one happen. Okay, um, you guys should run because you've taken a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, you should run. And you guys should come and attack. And you should also come and attack. So, yeah. It seems that, yeah, I pulled in only some uh, guys, some forces. And, yeah, you, you should go back. And I will have to see if I get my... Uh, if I get some troops killed or not. Hopefully not. So, yeah. They, they will keep attacking me here, but they attack with level 1 units against my level 10 guys, so you kind of figure out how it will go, basically. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I took some guys from here to, to attack here, so here I will put, put poor defense uh, in the camp, and yeah, they should go a bit back. Uh, if I go past 420, uh, it means that I'm good with uh, my troops. And while they are regenerating, I think I should be able to go past that. Okay, uh, so you, you stay a bit back. And yeah, just for, for safety, put this one. And, uh, yeah, it's not that hard. Okay, uh, maybe I did lose some guys. But it's hard to, to see, because I don't... Oh man, they... Okay, run, guys. Okay, you guys go back. You guys go back. And you guys go and attack that one. And uh, you guys go back. And I guess Lurz will have to come here and deal with it himself, with his arrows. Uh, Cause yeah. It seems that otherwise I will not be able to kill, yeah. So, they will keep pestering me with archers here. But, uh, and they are rank 10, but they are heavily diminished. So I will just retreat them in the back. Uh, and yeah, they attack me with stupid things here. And I will put them on one and... Uh, I will save before doing something. Because, yeah. Uh, the, the hardest part is just breaking through the enemy lines that are on the Fords of Aizen. Which, yeah, should be, let's see, easy enough, so to speak. Uh, actually, huh, I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, um, if I want to redo the no squad loss challenge on evil campaign, it's easier to do it on melee only. Like playing only with melee units, because they are not as squishy. Okay, you guys come and deal with them. And you guys... Wait, yeah, get them, run back. Put the okay, and now come attack. Okay, and yeah, they if I manage to break through them, it will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, okay. They are trying to do a strategy in which they run back and forth and things like that. But I will activate my... 
my thing here and uh, yeah I will attack them and because I activated this ability I will come here also and just deal with them and uh, in this part also I will go and attack so I will basically attack in four directions um, so yeah they they try to get into my army I will move them forward and uh, yeah these guys here they, they prepared an attack but uh, they are not prepared on what I'm going to do to them so you guys come and uh, if you want go and deal with this one not with the peasants the peasants are useless they are worthless basically you you can murder them very easily and yeah here here is my uh, attack they are attacking my forces but I will hold on with just my guys and yeah destroy everything here move your feet they're attacking over here and I guess uh, yeah here here it will be the place in which I will build my uh, siege equipment um, so yeah come on and they again they had a problem with attacking the Rohiri <laughs> seems that they are not able to attack I don't know why oh, man I'm here I, I hate this kind of bugs uh, of course you could you don't see them with a normal uh, campaign because uh, yeah with a normal campaign you have archers which basically take care of this kind of bugs but here where is Lord come here and switch to bow and just deal with it and uh, yeah just deal with it okay finally take this one and I will just build some siege equipment and some battery rams uh, I think they are most more cost efficient option and uh, yeah I can take the walls with just some battery rams no no problem and uh, yeah let's not forget to buy some powers not that I need it like fuel the fire and call the hordes yeah it's not needed to be honest but eh, whatever just so I have something to spend my points on um, deforestation can be useful actually so yeah deforestation would be something nice because you can just use to uh, get rid of some trees and gain, gain the resources from them so it has some uses but other than that not really uh, and yeah the industry also has some uses in the beginning maybe it's better but if you really want to play for the win in the beginning it's better to just rush the it's the yeah the, the gate is closed yeah it's better to just uh, uh, yeah make me some battering rams it's basically better to just buy a balrog and uh, yeah deal with the gates and I guess I will summon the balrog here just so he can deal with the gate uh, can I actually make this one happen and then the balrog may be a bit closer oh wait uh, so hopefully when he gets in uh, he didn't manage to break the uh, gate so yeah he can come and just deal with the gate and uh, then just move them into the camp of course the balrog actually can deal so much more than that I mean I can fly him here 
uh, yeah, and just by the fact that fly and just bread fire here and uh, yeah, everything, it's just done. Yeah, this is the power of the Balrog. So yeah, it, it's stupidly overpowered. Uh, so yeah, but fortunately the forces of evil never use it. New, never uses it. So yeah, it can take down so much. And if I would have not uh, used him to to basically uh, take down the hey. You attack here, and you go and attack. Uh, basically, if I haven't used him to break the gate, I could have very, very easily just uh, wipe out the entire camp all by himself, without any problem. This is how powerful the Balrog is. And uh, told you to go and attack there, oh man. So yeah, this is not a hard mission. Once you break through this one and it's easy to break through, uh, it's just easy. You can summon the Balrog or with the battering rams, it's the same. I just choose to summon the Balrog because I didn't want to spend more time on this mission than necessary. But yeah, that, w that is the power of the Balrog. It's a bit like a cheat for, for evil, but yeah. For the forces of good, you have some powers that are good, but not that good. I mean, yeah, you have the army of the dead, which can deal with a lot of enemy troops, but not so much with buildings. You cannot take an entire city only with that. Uh, but with this one, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy it and yeah, we'll see each other next time. Take care and bye bye.